Okay, next we move on to understand the goalkeeper code. Okay, so in order to get to the code, just right click it and click go to definition. In the goalkeeper.hpp, you will find the code controlling the one robot whose role has been defined as goalkeeper. So you need to code in this area. Everything that you will code in this area will get affected and it will be used as a strategy. So this goalkeeper takes in two parameters, the belief state as I have told you earlier and the bot ID that you will be supplying through game.hpp that is zero here. Okay. First let's understand the field configurations a bit. So this is a field, this is the yellow side, this is the blue side and currently I am the yellow, uh, blue team. Okay. So with respect to this, this is the coordinate system. This is the positive X, negative X, positive Y and negative Y. Okay. So the X side moving away from me is the positive. Okay. If, if this is my home team, then this would be the positive x and this would be negative y and this entire thing will get rotated to 180 degree ok this is half field max x ok this value is pre-computed so you just need to use the parameter half field max x and this is half field max y this is a sample field configuration okay. let's see what is the goalkeeper code is doing ok first is vec 2d d point r goal x plus d box height state position of the ball ok so this is a data type its name is vector 2d ok the variable name is d point ok it contains two parameters x and y the x parameter is this r and the y parameter is this okay so x parameter is fixed at r goal x plus d box height okay and the y parameter is fixed as state ball pos y so this state is used as a pointer here Okay. okay, it's a pointer to the class of the ob object of the class. So the its variable is as it's in retrieved as using an arrow, and the variable is ball pause that I have told you in the belief state. This ball pause, and to get its x coordinate, you write ball pause dot x, and to get its y coordinate, you get ball pause dot y. So this d point is actually a particular x distance and its y distance is equal to the ball position of y okay so what the code is saying that if the d point y is greater than r goal max y then the d point is this if it's less then the d point is this okay and finally we are using a function go to point okay so this go to point function implements the robot action. So with this, I I will give which robot ID is the is this particular tactic up applied to the state, the final point where to reach, the final angle where to reach. Okay, this is is it aligned, true and false, and is the final speed zero or or not true or false so with this this code sends up the bot of bot id say 0 to the final point this with final angle this ok so to, to get the idea right click here go to definition so here the definition of this function is written ok final slope final line so this is the how the code is working so you not used to need not used to use this 
code understand this code just use the function go to point and the parameters so it will send your bot to that particular point so using these functions okay so using these functions you need to code your strategy You have the definition of all these functions so using these you need to code for example if i tell a robot to stop what i will do i will just use stop and the bot and i pass the bot id if i need want to make the robot spin so what i will do i will use spin bracket robot id and the speed of spin okay okay this is turn to angle to turn the a robot to a particular angle okay. so these are various commands also you can use velocity i can give a particular velocity bot id uh, the two wheels velocity so this is a differential drive robot so there are two wheels left and right you can control the speed of the left and the right So this is the entire goalkeeper code. In short, what is that? It calculates a point known as D point. Okay. It, say it calculates a point here. Okay. Its x direction is its x x direction is fixed. Okay. With respect to the ball y position, its y position will be fixed. Okay. If the x position is greater than r goal max y, then it will be this. If it's less than R goal max y, it will be this. So it's restricting in, in between this zone. So the goalkeeper will get restricted in this zone and it will follow the y. Okay. So, so it will follow the ball position in this. And if the ball goes this way, it will go to this particular point. Else it will go to this particular point. This action can be seen by running the code next one is a defender i will just right click it and go to defender. this is the defender okay what is does it calculates a point whose x is fixed at minus half field max x by 2 and the y is fixed at the ball position point. So it follows the ball's y position with fixing its x position. And what I am using the function go to point to this particular point with final angle this. The defender always tries to restrict its motion in the y direction. Okay. With fixing it in the x direction. Next we have attacker. This is the most difficult role you need to code it because it's it can it comprises of various smaller functions so a simple attacker that i have written here is this what it does it calculates a point and the ball position point okay second one this that square it calculates this square of the distance okay so if this this square means distance between this point and this point so if the distance between our robot and the ball is less than a particular value then it will go to f point which is this one else it will go to ball point which is this one okay so this entire thing can you need to code it in your strategy to make it more okay so i have told you these entire three roles okay so to check these three roles you just need to okay to check the roles you just need to build it once Is it's gonna get filled up and it's running okay? 
you are playing with the blue team so this is blue c plus plus send and start okay. since you have coded for three robots you can see the three robots moving and you can see the goalkeeper if the ball is beyond this it's restricted to this particular point and now the ball ball is between this zone so it follows the it tries to move along the y position now again the ball moves to this position so it's restricted to this particular point okay so this is a simple goalkeeper okay this is the attacker so if it moves to under the ifls condition okay one small thing uh, since only three robots are used so these robots are unused so you can just pause and just closely drag and drop them if it move if you try to move it too far then the, there is a lag in the game so just drag and drop just drag and drop now the game would be hassle free and you will be able to implement your strategy more okay so on the final note the main thing that you need to change is these three roles the goalkeeper the defender and the attack you need to code in these three files okay if you need to have a more complex coding you can switch the roles here according to the ball position you can call which one will be the attacker which will be the defender which is closer to ball will be the attacker not by not fixing the bot id you can make it more dynamic so you can code it here so basically these four files you need to change do not touch any other file okay and if you need to create your own skill which would be rare like these so you can create the definition here but i will suggest not to do that try to implement it as it's written so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i will just give a simple code change the code implement a small strategy and show to you how it's working thank you